Hello! This is part two of a two-part video, so if you haven't seen the first part, then you should probably click right here to go watch it. If you've already seen the first part, then I'm sorry. I'll leave now. Let's do it. I can't tell if these cutscenes are just hard to understand or if I'm just not caring enough to pay attention to them. Probably both. <sighs> <laughs> Woohoo! We're in some kind of swamp that's really heavy on the platforming! Which is just wonderful because as mentioned earlier, if there's anything this game excels at, it's platforming. But I eventually did make it! Yeah! Uh, hold up one second. Yeah! Hmm! Aren't you a might puny to go up against Ganon? Um, honestly, man? Or a woman? I can't really tell. I think you're overestimating this guy just a bit. It burns! I mean, he was beaten by a book in the last game, so I think I'll be fine. Just like everyone else in this game, he wants us to bring him something we don't have. Whatever, whatever, let's go. We have froze at the fountain of life. Oh, that was good. We have made evil. Let's bring the darkness down. Oh, you're so evil and nasty for no particular reason at all! I just cannot take this game seriously. And now Zelda's just butchering them. It's heroic. Princess Zelda, slayer of all raggedy ladies. And oh goody, the creepy fairies from the first game are back. Here's a life heart and some fairy dust. Have some water of life. And take a Luigi and a Scooby-Doo Monsters Unleashed for the Game Boy Advance. How about taking the Starbucks I didn't finish earlier? You can have whatever this is. This is some gum that's been in my drawer for a couple years. It might still be good. And I got some Game Boy Color Powerpuff Girls game. I can check in the back. There's probably some more stuff if you want that. Eventually, Zelda finds herself at the dreaded Taikoki Tower, which is actually pretty dang easy if you have enough rope and bombs. Boss time. You... Dare defy me? You will die. Guess again, Iron Knuckle. Aw, oh, yeah, girl power. Yeah. He's dead. Let's get out of here. I call shotgun. After you kill the Iron Knuckle, you get another heart piece, which is nice, but why? Did Zelda just take this guy's gigantic, still-beating heart and devour it like some kind of savage? Because I'd like to think that's how it happened. And now we're saving this guy whose name I don't remember. Or was it ever even mentioned at all? Oh yeah, I remember now. Who cares? And just like the guy from the last game, he seems pretty happy to be locked up in chains. He's so happy, he's dancing. Now onto the beautifully named Door Dung Cave. Well, that was a good start. Well, oh man, I just don't know if I can do this anymore. I just don't know if I can do this anymore. I just don't know if I can do this anymore. I just don't know if I can do this anymore. I just don't know if I can do this anymore. I just don't know if I can do this anymore. I just don't know if I can do this anymore. The door's locked. If only a really weak enemy would come out of said door with the key so that I could kill him and gain passage to the door that would otherwise be inaccessible to me. Oh wait! That's exactly what happened. How convenient. It's another boss. Better pause and think about how I can beat it. Wait, I think... Yep, he's dead. This game went from decently difficult to really easy all of a sudden. It's almost like the game is tired of playing itself. Okay, well, never mind. It's hard again. What even are these things that are falling? They look like water drops. I can't tell if there's a pattern to them or not. They just kind of fall at random. And if you get caught under it, you can take tons of damage really fast. But why do water drops even damage you in the first place? Even if you want to say they're rocks, honestly, they're more like pebbles than anything. They would be a mild inconvenience at best. In the end, the best strategy is to just run straight through this segment and use the rope a lot. After barely using it in the first game, the rope is actually pretty OP in the Wand of Gamelon. Yet another boss! And big surprise, he adds nothing to the plot and has a whopping zero character development. You've killed me! Good. Dang! Dugonclid betrayed the king! I know. Wait, 
I do? I barely know what anyone is even saying in this game, much less that Dugauntlet is even a person and that he is also evil. I guess the king did mention a Dugauntlet guy at the beginning, but I usually just kind of ignore everything that guy says. The cutscenes in this game are just beyond bad, easily the most iconically bad things in this game for a reason. Not only is the animation laughable and lazy looking, they just go by so quickly. It's just like, bam, here's a cutscene. Didn't understand anything I just said? Oh well, see ya. So the very little story there actually is in this game is incredibly hard to follow, much less care about. Other stuff happens. And then you fight this guy whose head changes from a wolf to a lion to a... Lips? A lips? I don't know, whatevs. You kill him and then get the Wand of Gamelon, which is the only thing that can defeat Ganon for some completely unexplained reason. That's it, I just can't do this anymore. I just can't do it. Is this what it's like to be an adult? Just this lose all happiness in life? Is all the magic of the world gone? Just have your heart ripped right out of your chest? I don't know, you guys. I never thought this day would come. I think it's finally time. I have to do it. You have any Arbogos feathers? <laughs> some hand spore if you want a bit more punch. Bring some fairy dust and I'll make it a magic pill. Give anything for an Arbogos egg. Good. Well, I guess let's go fight Ganon. And big surprise, just like in the last game, he sucks balls. Dodge a couple things, climb a ladder, throw a thing. The great and evil Ganon has fallen by way of thrown thing. It is just as it was predicted in the holy books of old, and angels came down from the heavens and glory hallelujah. But we're not done yet, unfortunately. We've got to save the king. Uh, what the? I did beat the game, right? This music and whatever it is the king is doing here. Why is this entire scene so unnerving? But don't worry, it then jumps straight back into ridiculous. Your omnipotence, have mercy. After you've scrubbed all the floors in Hyrule, then we can talk about mercy. Take him away. Scrub the floors? That's it? Can I please go back to the scary room with the king dancing? I kind of, just kind of prefer it there compared to here. I wonder what happened to Link. Oh, he was a bore anyway. Stop looking at yourself. What happened? Once again, she really doesn't seem to care much about Link, which I can't say I blame her for. And also, huh? I can't tell what happened. Me neither, Impa. Stop Me neither. Yourself. I honestly just don't understand any of this game. Surely I can come up with at least one or two good things to say about this game if I try really hard. I guess I always thought it would be interesting to play a Zelda game where you actually play as Zelda, and I mean, she is genuinely intense in this game. She's killing people and she doesn't even care. And I guess the side-scrolling gameplay could be forgivable if it was just done better. Make it more clear where I can and can't go, fix the platforming, it shouldn't be so hard to make one simple jump. And stop dropping stuff on me for no reason! It's not fun! It's agitating at best. And that's about all I have as far as positivity goes. This game, while quirky and fun to remember, is bad. But I'm pretty sure you already knew that before watching this video. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Uh-oh, that doesn't look good. Okay, forget that. Uh, I'm just gonna play some more CDI, actually. Let's see what do we got here. We got uh, Mutant Rampage, Palm Springs opens a golf game, Merlin's Apprentice. Ooh, that sounds pretty good. Um, Seventh Guest. Let's see what this is. Let's just Hey everybody, thanks for watching this video! If you want to hear even more about the Zelda CDI games as well as a bunch of other Zelda games, then click here or in the description below to see the new episode of Did You Know Gaming on Zelda, voiced by me! If you enjoyed this video, then help share it around by giving it a like and or letting me know what you think in the comments! And if you want to see more videos, then subscribe! Facebook, Twitter, the fifth and final Zelda Month video for this year should be out on um, this Saturday. If it's a little late, don't be mad at me, but it should hopefully be out this Saturday. And yeah, that'll that'll be it. It's almost
almost over. And if you still need stuff to watch, then you can check out PVG Gameplay. There's always stuff going on there. Just check the description. Click on all my buttons and follow all my pages and subscribe to all my newsletters and my button shop. I have a button shop sh uh, shop there. <laughs> Never mind. I bought this roller controller for the CDI at Retro Gaming Expo. It was a dollar. It didn't work. I want my money back!